Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To add new customers in QuickBooks Online, open the Customers page by clicking the Sales link in the navigation bar when using the Accountant view. Then click the Customers tab at the top of the page that opens to the right. Alternatively, hover over the Sales link in the navigation bar and then roll over and click the Customers link in the side menu that appears to open the same page. Alternatively, if using the Business view, click the Customers and Leads link in the navigation bar. Then select Customers to the right of the navigation bar if needed. If needed, to manually add your first new customer, click the Add Customer Manually button in the page to open a customer pane at the right side of the window. To manually add a new customer after initially adding customers, instead click the New Customer button that appears in the upper right corner of the Customers page to open the same pane. The Customer pane is divided into Name and Contact, Addresses, Notes and Attachments, Payments, and Additional Info sections. A toolbar appears in the upper right corner of the pane with buttons you can click to jump to the corresponding section. To hide this toolbar, click the minus button at its right end. It then appears as a menu button towards the upper right corner of the pane next to the X button. To show the toolbar again, click this menu button. Type the customer's name and contact information into the title, first name, middle name, last name, and suffix fields in the name and contact section of the customer pane. You can type the customer's company name into the Company Name field. To choose how to display the customer's name after entering this information, use the Customer Display Name dropdown. Then type the customer's email address into the Email field. You can enter the customer's phone, mobile, and fax numbers into the phone number, mobile number, and fax fields. You can enter any other customer contact number into the Other field. Then enter the customer's website into the Website field. If needed to choose how to print the customer's name on checks, enter the desired name into the Name to Print on Checks field. If this customer is a sub-customer of a larger parent customer, you can check the Is a Sub-Customer checkbox. Then choose the customer's Parent Customer from the Parent Customer drop-down. To build the Parent Customer, then check the Bill Parent Customer checkbox. To build this customer separately from the Parent Customer, uncheck this checkbox. If multi-currency is enabled, you can also select the customer's currency. In the Addresses section, enter the customer's Billing Address and Shipping Address into the fields provided. If the shipping address is the same as the billing address, enter the billing address and then check the Same as Billing Address checkbox next to the shipping address label. If not, uncheck this checkbox and enter the shipping address into the fields provided. To show the mapped address in a web browser after entering an address, if needed, click the Map link below it. To add notes about a customer, enter the notes into the Large Notes field in the Notes and Attachments section. To add an attachment, click the Add Attachment link in the Attachments field, use the open dialog box that launches to find the attachment, click it to select it, and then click the Open button in the dialog box to upload it and attach it to the customer record. To set the customer's primary payment method, Select a choice from the Primary Payment Method drop-down in the Payments section. Use the Terms drop-down to set the customer's default payment terms. To choose the default way to send the customer's forms, use the Sales Form Delivery Options drop-down. To select the language used to send customer invoices, select a choice from the language to use when you send invoices drop-down. To set the customer's type, select the customer's type from the Customer Type drop-down in the Additional Info section. 
We'll discuss customer types in more detail in a later lesson, as you can also edit customer records to add them later if needed. To mark a customer as not taxable or tax exempt, check the This Customer is Tax Exempt checkbox in this section. Customers are considered taxable unless this checkbox is checked. Then select why they are tax exempt from the Reason for Exemption drop down. You can enter the details for their tax exemption into the Exemption Details field. Alternatively, if the customer pays sales tax, you can select their default tax rate from the Select Tax Rate dropdown. For automatic sales tax calculations, this is often the Based on Location choice. If creating a customer who owed you money for past invoices as of the start date of your company file, enter the amount they owed into the Opening Balance field. Then use the As of Date field to select the start date of the company file. If entering a new customer acquired after starting your QuickBooks company file, leave these fields blank as the amounts they owe are recorded later by the invoices and other sales forms you create. To save the new customer record into the customer's list when finished, click the Save button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.